Hi, I'm Gabby Starbuck. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please give this a like. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that you do subscribe. And most importantly, hit that notification bell. These trees are at Covent Garden. These are nice, all different styles. Aren't they? Where can we get bacon mold from? Oh, mistletoe. The lights really, but fancy a kiss. Under the mistletoe. Oh. Can you get No, we don't know. Yeah, everything's so like chic. Unless you go to somewhere like Pret and that, you can't really get like a back street bacon roll. But then I suppose we're in London, so maybe you can't. There must be something. It must be something back street. Oh, oh isn't that pretty? It's like the sun's going down. Covent Garden is so nice. Garden really beautiful. Seems going to film these when they're all lit up later, like so it's going to look amazing. That tree is huge, man. I'm just going to go stand against it just so you know how huge it is. It's huge. to here on this tree here I'm ruining everybody's shots here that's massive man I don't want to walk backwards in case I fall down that's the sort of tree that should be in Lapland or in my house <laughs> Get a bit old now, though. If you though. have enough money, you can put it up there anyway. Yes, sir. I just need to win a few million. I want to say a few, or a few. Tim has bought as a ginger shot. He's seen that these shots are meant to be really, really healthy, so he thinks we really need them. I'm really excited to try this because I really need a bit of health. So let's just see how good this really is. It's a turmeric shot as well, just lemon, apple, and black pepper. So they just do like healthy shots. Wow. Five pounds. So this is Give it? Give it a try. What's it like? <coughs> I've only just had a little sip of it. Wow. Is it strong? It's ginger, yeah. Right, here we go. You're not? Wait for the burn. It tastes like stinging nettles, man. <laughs> it's root ginger. It tastes like stinging nettles. How is this good for you? Ginger's good for you, real ginger. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try it though. Oh. What is is the um, aim to knock it back in one, or do you just have sips? I don't know. I don't. Can you? It's almost like having an alcoholic shot, isn't it? It's not the breakfast I was hoping for. What are the bacon roll? It's agonising, isn't it? It's good for you though. Well, it better be. I took a big gulp that time. I did sip it. I think I might just knock this back. God. It's like you drink it and then you wait for the burn. Is that worse? I don't know actually. I think it's more agonising sipping it because at least you get it out of the way. God, do you know what? It's easier to have a tequila slammer. No, it's easier if you take a big gulp. Get it down, the, yeah. The short sips are worse. This better do me the world to get him. It better be the best fiver you ever spent. Oh, finding a normal bacon roll was hell on earth. I think it's because we got up so late and we missed the deadlines. We couldn't get a bacon roll anyway, so we have bought some <laughs> figs and blanket rolls because in theory, it's sausage and bacon, isn't it? So it's kind of like a bacon roll, but with the added extra sausage in it. So we're gonna make do with that for our breakfast on top of our um, ginger. So, uh, oh, what a weird breakfast. I'm looking forward to my coffee. I haven't had a coffee yet. And your first cup of coffee of the day is always the best. Win and play. <laughs> wow. That's well cool. I don't know what it's all about. It's just like a random little. What is it? Is it like a coffee shop? I don't know. It's banana tree growing. Like it. It's well cute. The banana tree 
Don't know. Not that Charing Cross Road. This shop is really cool. It sells all these different types of cufflinks. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Get a better look. Ah! It's a really good Christmas gift for anybody. Do you know most singers, it's their dream to be in a West End show. But I can honestly say that throughout my whole career, oh, it looks like a smidge of being a singer, I've never ever wanted to be on a West End stage. I've done a bit of theatre, but I can't say I've had a passion for it. Is it weird that I'm a singer that doesn't really want to be in a theatre show? Don't get me wrong, I do love being on a stage, but it has to be doing like pop and stuff like that. But I've never wanted to do theatre. Maybe I'm just a unique character. Most actors want to be. Most actors? Well, I don't. I'm not interested. I just want to be uh, a millionaire. I do want to be a millionaire though. But if my name's going to be in lights on that screen, how am I going to do it if I don't want to be in the West End? Maybe YouTube. <laughs> With my 309 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and uh, give this video a thumbs up <laughs> and uh, give it a share if you can as well and I believe there's a notification button that you should hit and then that will notify you for every video that I upload. Here comes the sun, little darling. Sunshine, like it. Like it a lot. Jeez, there's a cherry cake. <laughs> That's National Gallery. I'd like to come back and have a good old look around that when I've got time. And this is the Christmas tree. Can't wait to see that with its lights on. I think they're in the process of putting them on now. Some lions there as well. I don't know what, what do the lions represent? I don't know. Double fancy. Oh, I can't be bothered to read. That's the only problem with me. I just want to know instantly. A lot of vloggers today. Ain't just me. Ain't just me vlogging. I don't really understand that fly on that cherry cake. I don't get it, what it's all about. But is that like a Christmas trimming? That's the most unusual Christmas trimming I've ever seen. There's a lot of things I don't understand in life, but that I really don't get. If it isn't the crown in all its glory, look at that. I've been watching the series The Crown, so really what's coming today because it's just made me get in the royal spirits. Such a beautiful uh, afternoon as well. The sun's like beaming on the palace and you know what there's always this um once one like um episode that really sort of stuck out in my mind and it was the one where that geezer broke in and had a conversation with the queen that was so funny man i love that bit in cool run-ins where he wants to live in buckingham palace as well so funny so many people on bikes Tim wanted to get a bike, but I wouldn't do it because I didn't want my hands to get cold. Tim, where are we going? Hey, here's the park. Oh, and that lush. Oh God, those gates look insane. Got loads of police by the door with their guns out. That's quite scary, Gabby, isn't it? If you come to London either on a day trip or if you're on holiday from somewhere abroad or anything like that you cannot come to London and not visit Buckingham Palace it just wouldn't be right it is incredible it's so so grand and every time I come to London I do come and see it well if I'm in the heart of London and I can honestly say I never get bored of seeing it it's history and it's um something that the British should be extremely proud of so make sure that if you're in the area you do make a visit because it's so worth it and you just love it yeah it's nice you could actually get a clear shot for once what a lovely afternoon tim isn't it beautiful it's cold it's really cold but it's beautiful and it's really peaceful as well for Buckingham Palace is peaceful. It's amazing. Makes you proud to be British. <laughs> or quarter Italian, like me. So you've got a nice view of that wheel. Bet if she, if the Queen was in Buckingham Palace when the fireworks go off on New Year's Eve, she gets a well good view. Because they all happen near this wheel, don't they, in the London Bridge. 
Every time I've come to London in the past, I've always got around on the tube because I could never really be bothered to walk. But I must say that the last few times we've been, me and Tim have never really bothered with the tube much and we've um, spent most of our time walking and it's surprising just how close everything actually is to each other. Just down the bottom, you'll come to the National Museum and we didn't realise how close the National Museum was to Buckingham Palace. I'm like over there is the wheel. I didn't realise how close that was. So when you are on foot, you start to really get like a sense of how everything is so close to each other, you know, more so than you do when you're on the tube. And the tube is a real sort of like dirty form of transport as well. It really, really takes the pleasure out of London. Whereas when you're on foot and you're seeing the sights and the beauty, it makes you realize how lush it is. And it's even more so beautiful when you come at Christmas time because everything's still so old. You've got your red buses, you've got your red telephone boxes. Everything's so old and quaint and cute and yet modern at the same time but everything is just so i'm gonna use that word again it's so grand and i love it i love it i love coming here more at christmas time than ever you must check out tim's walk with me <laughs> i was gonna say you must check out tim's walk with me because he's gonna be doing the uh the christmas lights here and they're gonna be spectacular absolutely amazing that's something I'm going to want to watch over and over again. Fantastic to get you in the Christmas mood. If you're going to watch it, I recommend make yourself a nice Bailey's hot chocolate. Get some cream on it, squirt it right up to the top. Maybe some chocolate sprinkles on the top. Chocolate sprinkles only need to be hot chocolate. Sprinkle it on the top and just sit back, relax and watch it and get all festive with your Christmas tree lights on. It's going to be incredible. You'll love it. Beautiful park to walk around. Feel the birds, tuppence are back. If I sing that, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Oh, got love them, love them till they crack on you. Although it's meant to be uh, good luck, isn't it? It's so lovely the way we captured it with the sun, the way it's sort of going down a little bit. It's just so arty and pretty. Such a lush little park. Do you know what would make this walk through this park even better? cup of tea so I could just hold it in obviously one of my hands because I'm going to be vlogging because it is really cold it's nice because the sun's sort of still out and it's really beautiful though look at that black swan it's only about three o'clock as well no it's not even three o'clock yet is it it's half tea it feels later no, have you ever walked around this park before if you have <laughs> I was talking to the viewers. If you have, pop it in the comments. I'd love to know your thoughts. Did you like it? Was it a sunny day? Did you enjoy it? Oh, wow. How cute. Oh my God, it's like Colchester Zoo all over again. Why is it that when you're walking through a park, not that I walk through many parks, but when you're walking through a park, it's cold. I just want to be holding a cup of tea. What are you people about? Wow. Airways. I think we got it. I was on the selfie camera, so I'm not sure if I got it or not. It feels much better now. I have a tea. <laughs> We're going back to the car now because we need to go and get Tim's microphone because it's getting ready to film because it looks like it's about to turn dark. It's gone three o'clock. So. We're all really, really excited. We're heading back. I'll tell you what, if nothing else today, the walking around has kept me really, really fit. I've got no energy, but I do feel fit. But I'm nice and warm. I've got my tea. Just a really, really nice afternoon. Oh God. Good afternoon, Mr. Magpie. That tree. Oh my god, it's even better at night. 
Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you have liked what you've seen, please give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, like I said before, please subscribe. Much love to you all. Take care and I'll see you next week.